this very stage with this band and uh, play in that setting. So that was a challenge and it sounds it sounds pretty good, I think. And also, in the back of my mind, I of course wanted to enter the charts. Which we actually did. We didn't, we didn't get the dance charts though. No, not the dance charts, but I think what did we do? Contemporary, Contemporary jazz. jazz they're calling us these days. <laughs> Contemporary jazz, that's what we are. <laughs> Top yeah. 10. Anyway, so, to celebrate, Marco wrote a dance song, right? Right. So, here we go. So this one is called The Dance of the Aristocrats. Yeah. guitar and heroic noise acrobats, Guthrie Govan. What is acrobatics, I believe I was looking for. Anyway, on drums, the amazing Marco Miniman. My name is Brian Beller, and we're the Aristocrats. Thank you, New York City. We're welcoming us back after two years. So for this last tune, you know, we're so incredible. First, how many musicians are there out there? Yeah! Wow. And you're all working in New York City, right? 
Yeah. All right. Well, you know, we're really, really grateful to be able to do what we do to have our own band and have all you guys come out and, and to be playing in the other bands that we play in. It's, it's just like, we just kind of can't believe it. We look at our lives like, wow. At the same time, we have these moments, which I'm sure a lot of musicians have experienced out there, that are like kind of awesome and awful at the same time. Where you're just like, that was a great gig, now I've got to fly 28 hours home on four flights. Yeah, or, you know, yeah, exactly. Or, or, or so you have, you have a bit of a noise issue with your amp, or something goes wrong. <laughs> Last night I walked in stage, and I couldn't see, and I couldn't hear. It was just unbelievable. So these things happen, and, you know, you try and just do the best you can, but... I, I had this situation where I needed to write a song under those circumstances. I had just flown back from Russia. Again, it was one of those 30-hour, four-flight itineraries, and I was exhausted, and I was jet-lagged. It was nine days before we were supposed to record Culture Clash. I hadn't learned their songs yet, let alone written my third one for the album. And I was just sitting there and thinking, what am I going to write? Because i got nothing in my head right now but hate. <laughs> hate for the fact that I have to even do this as opposed to being able to sleep for a couple days. I stared at the screen, and I stared at the screen, and I stared at the screen, and then this happened. So, for the musicians out there, yeah. especially for the New York City musicians out there, yeah. hopefully you'll understand why this song is called Living the Dream.